hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notification in my last video i had talked about addition of integers in this video i am going to talk about subtraction of integers as what i have promised i'm going to teach you tricks to make subtraction of integers easier if you haven't watched my video in addition of integers, please click the suggested video above. Now let's start with subtraction of integers. I'm just going to use the third method since this is the conventional way and this is the easier way apparently as compared to the number line method and the tile method. So in subtraction, we have our given facts. Let's have 16 that is positive minus 12 this positive our basic rule the conventional rule here is to rewrite the equation and then keep the minimum change the sign change the sign of the subtract hand let me introduce to you the part of a subtraction equation the first number that you can find that is positive 16 that is the minimum the second number that you can find is positive 12, that is the subtract hand. And the answer in subtraction is, of course, the difference. Now, how do we do this? First, we keep the minimum. 16 stays a 16. Then we change the sign. Now, minus, we change it into plus. The next thing is to change the sign of the subtract hand. Now, subtract hand is 12. The sign is positive. We change it into negative. We have negative 12. For our next step, we proceed to addition. Remember our first rule, if the integers have like signs, add the numbers and copy the common sign. For the second rule, if the integers have unlike signs, subtract the numbers and copy the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. Now let's have 16 plus negative 12. Unlike signs, we subtract 16 minus 12 is equal to 4. Now which is greater, 16 or 12? 16. Now what is the sign of 16? Positive. The answer? Positive 4. Next. Negative 10 minus positive 12. So we keep the minimum that's still negative 10, change the sign, plus, change the sign of the subtract hand from positive 12, it becomes negative 12. Then we proceed to addition. Here are the rules. Which one do we follow? The same sign. Now, negative, negative 10 and negative 12 are both negatives. So, we add the numbers and copy the common sign. We have the final answer, negative 22. Another example, negative 21 minus negative 5. First, we keep negative 21. We change minus into plus and we change negative 5 into positive 5. Then, we proceed to addition. We have negative 21 plus 5. These are unlike signs. Again, we subtract. 21 minus 5 is equal to 16, which is greater. 21 or 5? Of course, 21. The sign of 21 is negative. The final answer, negative 16. Now, this is the reason why I'm here, why I'm on YouTube, why I'm making tutorials. I don't want you to think that math is difficult. Math is hard. I want to break that stigma. Let's make it easy. Let's have the same example. 16 minus 12. Now, remember this process. First, if there are any parentheses, we remove it. Then, if there are consecutive signs, we multiply the signs. This is a basic rule. So, this rule also applies in multiplication, but it also applies in subtraction. This method is a different method 
This is something that I have taught and learned myself through the years when I was venturing mathematics. By the way, I am a licensed mathematics teacher. I passed the board exam somewhere in 2018. So I, I have been studying math for quite some time. So I can teach you the tricks because I have made a simple technique just to make things easy because in mathematics, you just have to understand the concept, the idea, what it is, and then you can make a solution that works and is correct and is easier. And that's a good thing. You are here. You will know what I already know and I have learned through the years. Now, in multiplying the signs, positive and negative is equal to negative. Negative and positive is equal to negative. Positive and positive is equal to positive. Negative and negative is equal to positive. And to make this easier for you to understand, for unlike signs, the answer is negative. For like signs, the answer is positive. Now, let's have this. 16 minus 12. The first process. Remove the parentheses. We don't have any parentheses. There's nothing to remove. Next, find the consecutive signs. No consecutive signs nothing to multiply let's proceed with addition here are the rules now 16 minus 12 is equal to 4 that's the answer again here are the rules 20 minus 16 is equal to what first remove the parenthesis nothing to remove next consecutive signs there's nothing to multiply we proceed with addition 20 minus 12 is equal to 4. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Another example. 19 minus 23. There are no parentheses. There are no consecutive signs. So what do we do? We proceed to addition. That is 19 minus 23. Now, these are unlike signs. What do we do? We subtract. The answer is 4, which is greater, 23 or 19? Of course, 23. We follow the sign of 23 that is negative. Final answer, negative 4. Let's have an example. In this case, we have parentheses, we have consecutive signs. Negative 3 minus negative 4. What do we do first? We remove the parenthesis. We end up with negative 3 minus negative 4. Now, we have consecutive signs. Look, there are two negatives in between. What do we do? We multiply the signs. Look at the four signs that I have presented in the rules. If we multiply two negatives, the answer is positive. So, we change it into positive. Now we have negative 3 plus 4. See, it's easier. Now we proceed to addition. Negative 3 plus 4. Unlike signs, subtract them. 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 is greater than 3, therefore it is positive. Positive 1 or simply 1. Let's have another example. 9 minus negative 7. We have parentheses. We have to remove the parenthesis. We have 19 minus negative 17. What do we do next? Two negative signs. We change it into positive. Now we have 19 plus 17. We proceed to addition. Like signs, 19 plus 17 is equal to 36. That's our final answer. Some more example. Negative 8 minus 10. We remove the parenthesis. We have negative 8 minus 10. Now, we don't have consecutive signs here, so we proceed to addition. Negative 8 plus negative 10. They are like signs. We just add them and copy the common sign. The final answer, negative 18. Another example, negative 6 Minus 5 is equal to, no parenthesis to remove, 
no consecutive signs, we proceed to addition, the same signs, negative 6, negative 5, the same signs, add the numbers, copy the common sign, our final answer, negative 11. One more example, negative 10 minus 12. We remove the parenthesis. We have negative 10 minus 12. Then, no, no consecutive signs. We proceed to addition. Negative 10 minus 12. The same sign, negative. We, we add the integers and then copy the common sign. Answer, negative 22. Oh, this is a different example. Now, you can see the minuend is missing. We have the subtrahend and we have the difference. Oh, how do I answer this? Don't be scared. I'm here. I'm going to teach you how to do this easily using the same rule that I have taught you. See, this rule applies even if the minuend is missing, the subtrahend is missing, or the difference is missing. First, you remember addition is the inverse of subtraction. And subtraction is also the inverse of addition, of course. Now we proceed with addition. Here are the rules once again. Now since addition is the inverse of subtraction, we have to add the difference and the subtrahend in order to find the minuend. Now the difference is negative 9. And then we add it with negative 5. Now you think that's easier. Negative 9 and negative 5 are like signs. What do we do? We add them up and copy the common sign. The final answer, negative 14. We put it in the box. Now we don't stop there. We check it if our answer is correct. Let's check. Negative 14 minus negative 5 is equal to negative 9. We remove the parenthesis. And then we multiply the two negatives. We have a positive. Now we have negative 14 plus 5 is equal to negative 9. Negative 14 plus 5. Unlike signs, what do we do? We subtract. 14 minus 5 is 9. Now, which is greater, 14 or 5? Of course, 14. Now, the sign is negative, negative 9. Now, negative 9 is equal to negative 9. Therefore, our answer is correct. Let's have another example. What if the subtrahend is missing? Negative 12 minus the subtrahend is equal to 0. Now, remember, addition is the inverse of subtraction. Let's proceed to addition. Here are the rules again. Now we add up 0 and negative 12. Now the answer is negative 12. Pretty easy. Put that in the box. Then we check. Negative 12 minus negative 12 is equal to 0. The same process. We remove the parenthesis. We multiply the consecutive signs to negatives. That makes a positive. Not negative 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. We cancel that out. 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, our answer is correct. And that's the end of our video today. I hope you have learned my teeny tiny tricks and tips in subtraction because there are some students, I mean, I had some students before, they find it hard when it comes to subtraction now. My mission here is, of course, to break the stigma and make subtraction easier. If you have comments or questions or suggestions, you can comment it below. I am reading all the comments there. And if you have suggestions on the next topic, I can also consider that. But right now, I am focused on the grade 7 module. Now stay tuned because in my next video, I am going to teach the last operations that is multiplication and division of integers. That is quite easy. I will make a spell. Multiplication and division is easy because I almost taught you how to do it. So stay tuned. And of course, I want to thank you again for watching this video.